Now, most adults are likely to lift a 100-pound person without any problems. But it's not as easy to pick up a piece of rock weighing 100 pounds. It's hard to get a good grasp on the stone. That's why you need to have a lot of grip strength. You'll also need to tighten your chest muscles. Otherwise, the rock will push your arms apart and slip out. Your toes won't appreciate that. And don't forget that the stone has a more or less evenly distributed weight. This makes it seem even heavier than it is. To schlep a person around, you don't have to bend all the way down to the ground. You need little strength to straighten your knees and back. If you had to reach under the 100-pound person's feet to lift them off the ground, yes, you would definitely break a sweat. You can also have a better grasp on said person. You involve more muscles than when you lift a rock – leg, back, cores, glutes, forearms, and so on. The best thing? Their weight isn't distributed evenly. And the person you're trying to lift can choose to make it easier for you. For example, they can wrap their arms around your shoulders. Now for something smaller. Some of the bacteria that live in your gut can produce electricity. They give off electrons, and this creates tiny electrical currents. Scientists think it might be the bacteria's backup system, their way to generate energy. Your body emits faint but visible light. It's the brightest at about 3 to 4 p.m. and the least noticeable in the morning at 10 a.m. But even at 3.30 p.m., this glow is a thousand times less intense than what your eyes can perceive. It takes your blood 90 seconds to travel all the way around your body. Your brain is 73% water, just like your heart. If your brain loses a mere 2% of its liquid, you'll immediately start to feel exhausted. This will also worsen your memory, shorten your attention span, and make you cranky. Whoop, time for a drink. If your eyes see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, it's enough for your brain to process this image. Your tongue consists of two pairs of four intertwined muscles. The whole structure resembles an elephant's trunk or an octopus's arm. Just like them, the tongue's flexible and can move in any direction. You can't swallow and breathe at the same time. It's your body's safety mechanism. Both the food you swallow and the air you breathe go down the same part of your throat at first. Only a bit deeper, the passage splits into two different pipes. When you swallow, the passage for air gets closed off automatically. Otherwise, you may accidentally inhale food. Anybody done that besides me? Your brain can decide what sounds to focus on when you're in a loud place. Thanks to this ability, you can shut out all other voices and concentrate on the person you're listening to. People are the only living beings that produce emotional tears. Other creatures shed tears to lubricate their eyes. <laughs> That's good to know. Some people have more than one row of eyelashes. This phenomenon is a genetic mutation called dystichiasis. Those who have this condition have a second set of eyelashes growing behind the first. The fattiest organ in your body is your brain. Fat makes up at least 60% of its dry weight. The brain also contains about a quarter of your body's cholesterol. But this substance is very important for the brain. Without it, this organ wouldn't survive, you think? Your longest bone is your thigh bone, and the tiniest one is in your ear. It's shorter than a grain of rice. Your fingernails grow faster on your dominant hand. So if you write with your right hand, you'll have to cut the nails on the right hand fingers more often. Your fingernails also grow faster in the summer and during the day. But the fingernail on your pinky grows more slowly than on the other fingers. Each of your taste buds functions as a mini-computer. It consists of 50 to 100 receptor cells that analyze taste information. They can distinguish between sweet, bitter, salty, sour, and savory foods. About 25% of people sneeze when they see bright light. This phenomenon is called the photic sneeze reflex. Translated from Greek, it means sun sneezing. Your feet are likely to become bigger with time. When people grow older, ligaments and tendons in their feet weaken. This makes the arches flatter and feet wider and longer. If you don't have insomnia, goody for you, you're likely to spend around one-third of your life asleep. But some animals sleep even more. For example, for a dog, the time spent asleep is 44% of their life, and for a python, 75%. 
That's the sleeping, squeezing snake sleep syndrome. Nah, I just made that up. Because I could. Your lips don't sweat because there are no sweat glands there. Neither do your lips have the glands that produce a special protective film. It keeps the rest of your skin hydrated. That's why your lips are so vulnerable to the sun, wind, and cold. They also dry out faster than other parts of the body. Your right lung is shorter than the left one because it has to leave some room for your liver. But the left lung is narrower. It has to make space for the heart. So accommodating! A man's lungs can usually hold more air than a woman's. Some think he produces more hot air, too. People find it hard to recognize someone they know if they see a photo where this person is without eyebrows. It means that brows are more important for face recognition than eyes. Mm. Your body contains around 30 trillion cells. More than 7 billion people live on Earth. Let's do the math. That means there are more than 4,000 times more cells in your body than there are people on our planet. Now, when someone's lying, their own nose gives them away. Scientists have found that when a person tells a lie, the temperature around their nose and in the inner corners of their eyes rises. This phenomenon is called the Pinocchio effect. There are more than 200 bones in your body. One quarter of them are in your feet. The average foot has 36 bones, 33 joints, 19 muscles, and 107 ligaments. If some of the bones in your feet aren't aligned properly, it affects the entire body. Scientists grew several human taste cells in the lab and discovered they could smell. In each of these cells, there were several molecules like the ones you have in the cells in your nose. That's why taste cells react to odor molecules pretty much like the smell cells. It means the senses of smell and taste are even more connected than it was believed. The human brain is a real random thought generator. Almost 50 thoughts appear in your brain within one minute. It's 3,000 thoughts per hour and more than 70,000 per day. Speaking of thoughts, it was once believed that sweet potatoes were thinking beings. Because of Descartes' famous quote, cogito ergo spud, translated as I think, therefore I am. But no. Your lips look red because the skin there is extremely thin and delicate. For comparison, the skin on your face is up to 16 cell layers thick, and on your lips, there are only 3 to 5 layers of cells. That's why a lot of tiny capillaries that are right below the skin are more visible. Just like your fingerprints, the red part of your lips has a unique pattern of furrows. Only 3% of people all over the planet have the lines forming the letter X on both their palms. It's a rare phenomenon, and in many cultures, this feature is believed to be a sign of a strong character. Five basic senses aren't the only ones people have. There's also the sense of space, sense of pain, sense of balance, sense of time, sense of temperature around and in the body, and so on. Makes sense. Your stomach gets a new lining every 3-4 to four days. This way, your body prevents the stomach from eating itself. That's how potent your digestive acids are. You start to feel thirsty when water loss is 1% of your body weight. More than 5% and you may faint. There are more than 650 skeletal muscles in your body. They make up around 40% of your body weight. Sounds impressive. But let's say caterpillars have many more muscles than you do, up to 4,000. And the grasshopper has 900, so there. By the way, almost 85% of the heat your body produces comes from your muscles contracting. There are between 2 and 5 million sweat glands on your body. They produce two different kinds of sweat, stress sweat and regular sweat. Stress-related sweat contains fatty acids and proteins, and the regular one is made up mainly of water, salt, and a tiny bit of other substances. Hey, don't sweat the small stuff. Your fingers are super sensitive. They can feel objects that are no bigger than the width of your hair. It means that if your finger was the same size as Earth, you would still feel the difference between cars and houses. And scientists found out that sitting and looking upward makes it easier to recollect positive memories. But if you need to remember something bad, you sit and look downward. So stop that. 